Hi guys, it's Natural English with Sarah here. I'm sat in my car in beautiful sunny England and I've been thinking about confidence, especially confidence in speaking English. I've been teaching now for 18 years in four different countries and when I think back to all of my wonderful lovely students, one of the things that stands out that makes those special students stand out is the ones with confidence. And as I was thinking deeper into this level of confidence, what does that look like on the outside? And I realised that having confidence is always done with a smile. My students who smiled, whether it was online lessons or face-to-face -face lessons, they always seem to exude an extra level of confidence and they it seemed to me like they were really enjoying speaking English even when they were making lots of mistakes even when they couldn't remember the words and they were scrambling around trying to find a specific word they smart the moment they smiled I smiled back and I thought about how it is when you're walking in the street, especially here in the UK, we're quite reserved. When you walk in the street, most of the time people put their eyes down and they're just getting on with their business. But if somebody stops or is walking opposite you, opposite direction to you, and they smile at you, instantly I smile back. And it makes me feel happy. It makes me feel a very small, brief moment of joy. And that is because the smile is a really amazing way to connect with another person. So that's my tip for you today. It's tip number two out of 10. And that is when you're practicing English today, whether you live in an English speaking country or you're practicing with friends or colleagues in the workplace, wherever you may be, I want you to practice English with a smile doesn't mean you need to be smiling like a crazy person every five seconds but just throw it in there when you make a mistake laugh it off and smile and see the reaction that you get and see how it builds your confidence have a lovely day